do you want to go see if you can delete that video? Yeah. Okay. Good morning. Um, Sorry, we had I'll some technical here. difficulties. Emily is going to go fix that other video. Um, for some reason, there was like a purple line. <clears throat> Hope everyone has had a good week. There's no one on yet because we had technical difficulties. <sighs> I'm sorry. When we went and looked, there was a purple line and we just didn't want it to be there on the whole video. So, um, hi again. Hey, good morning. Emily is fixing Okay, the thing you might have to relink oh okay so i'll just start talking and emily do you want to relink yeah I she's can. gonna relink i've said that like five times now. <laughs> <sighs> uh, no line now yay hello from the oven in texas oh man i have heard that it's quite hot there no more purple. Yes. Yeah. There was a purple line on when we started the live. So we had to restart. So Emily's fixing the links. Um, mom isn't here. So Emily's joining me today. Plus she is the um, IT. Uh, Holly, hi. Hello, Florence. Oh, we are home with, Tammy said she's home with COVID-19. Oh. oh, I'm so sorry. Hey, Good morning, mom from Disney. So mom's joining us from Disney. <laughs> okay, good. Everyone says the purple line is gone. Fabulous. Must have just been a glitch. Yes. So I'm just going to. Okay, I shared the new link for everyone on Instagram. <laughs> okay. So if you guys got our newsletter this morning, then you saw we are having a pattern sell, a chart the cross stitch chart pattern cell. Um, we don't do them very often, so be sure to head on over and pick up your charts you've been waiting for that you haven't purchased yet that you want to. I could show the fall. I pulled all of our fall and yeah. Halloween charts. So um, all paper, all PDF, primrose charts. So we're going to show some of um, these are all in the cell. So we've got Autumn House. And I mean, all of our charts. Welcome, Autumn. Oh, thank you for the super chat. Oh, my gosh, Diane. Thank you so much. Thank you. Um, that means a lot. We have some really it, fun things to share today. Yeah. So I'm so glad you're thank joining you. us. Um, Boobash. So funny story. This is the first ever chart we released. And it's based off a quilt I designed. And Emily I charted. actually charted this <laughs> for me. Um, when we were first starting. And so this, is this yours? The one that yes, you made? Yes, I, look how cute. The, I need to do another finish like that. I love the the frayed edges on that. So and it's my favorite fabric by Fig Tree. I hoard her fabric. It's my favorite. I thought, I mean, the finish, this is a tiny one. It's so cute. It's just on a board. So. Um. Okay, so Pumpkin Kisses. We pulled some of the samples. This is uh, one of my favorites. I actually stitched and finished this one. The bow's a little wonky. We've just gotten all of our stuff back from trunk shows and all that fun so stuff. Everything's been wrapped and man, that is really wonky. I gotta fix that. Okay, <laughs> so um, I when I stitched this, I had so much fun I could not put it down. Which I just saw. Look so, how cute Lori Griffin finished it. I just saw this. Look how cute her finish is. Okay, so she's got it on a paddle. I love it. This one is just, I love the colors. The cloth is the 25 Country Mocha. And it's one of my favorite pieces I've done. Happy Halloween. This one's going to be a little wonky too. <laughs> the bow. <laughs> Everything was packaged. So yeah, we, we need to it fix everything. All bubble wrapped. Um, this was in our sip and stitch last year. Um, and for those of you who are new and haven't heard of our sip and stitch, do you think that is needs to be cleaned? Is that why I'm blurry a little? Anyway, sorry. Okay. Um, we're having technical difficulties this morning. I'm really it looks sorry. blurry just on you. I know. Okay. Me, it's okay. okay. It's okay. We'll just leave it. Sorry. 
Happy Halloween. This wasn't our sip and stitch last Halloween. Um, so our sip and stitch is kind of a seasonal thing where you get a mug that I've designed, the cross stitch chart, and the floss. Yeah. So our next sip and stitch is going to be next month, and it is Halloween again because I just love Halloween, and you guys are going to die when you see the chart. Um, Come, so it comes with the chart, all the floss required, a mug, and, and a we, special we surprise. We put another surprise in this box coming. So, something you're going to love. So, okay. Something we've not put in a box yet. So, witchy way. I want to do this one, but I, I want to change all the colors. So, I stitched this one as well. This was last year um, release, I want to say Expo. And yeah, our bows are a little sad right now. Um, but this was another one I stitched. I did it on the 14 count stormy. And again, covered, I could not covered by, I could not put this one down. Like I stitched it so fast. I had so much fun. Um, and I love the colors. Yes. Like every time I look at it, I love it. So yeah, one of my favorites. So that's also, in I don't the have the sample of so. this one. This one is Halloween Kisses. I don't have the sample. I love this one. I love doing her Kisses and Hugs yeah, uh, so. series. They're my favorite. They whip up really fast. So she has several of different seasons in this. So yeah, so this is the autumn one and this is the Halloween. And we have a, a Valentine Day, Valentine's Day, St. Patrick's, Christmas. Easter. Easter. Christmas. Halloween, B. fall, B. And I still get requests for different ones, which I love designing them. They're fun. This one's Katie's. I love this one. Hello, fall, Autumn. She has all the seasons. She has a new one coming. Is she releasing that for Expo? Yes. So she has an Expo that's with this series. And it is really it's pretty. It's adorable. You guys are going to love the next one. I love the colors she picked. They're very, um, mo I would say like a modern fall yeah. colored. I love that. I don't have this sample either. The new nine patches. All the fall and um, Halloween ones. So the three new nine patches and my all things chart were not included in, in the cell. But these are some fun fall and autumn charts. Fall I and grab Halloween. This. I should grab it. I think it's still wrapped. Well, let's it's do this so one rough. then. We'll do this one. That's fine. This is Katie's. I love this. This is. I want to stitch this one. I just literally haven't stitched. <laughs> um, pumpkin patch. The bozels. I, I was wrapped. I remember. So on this one, we. I remember going and picking out the floss with her for this one, and I. The palette's beautiful. It is a beautiful color palette. It just. It goes so well because you've got like the muted yellow with the fun variegated truck. And I love um, her letters. Yeah. They're really fun because like the bottom is a color and then it's like the brown. So cute. Her board she stained and it's from Hobby Lobby, I believe, just in the board section. <clears throat> I guess I could put that over there. Okay. We showed this last week. Oh, you did? Um, but it's in the pattern cell. Um, some The Corn Husker Stay Stitcher, I believe. They're doing a stitch along with yep. this pattern. So great time to pick up the pattern while it's on sale. The, cell, the pattern cell ends on um, the 24th of this month. So, so this is her subway art. Yep. You should design a new one. She doesn't have one right now. That she is designing. You need to do a Christmas subway art. I want to do a Christmas. I actually, you guys, I haven't designed forever. We've been too busy. I've been really busy, but I sat down and designed last night and I designed the cutest Santa. Okay. Um, we got two finishes for this one. <laughs> this, I have mentioned this before. This was probably my favorite chart to design. I love this so much. So this was the original finish. Um, we found this really cool tin tray, and it was from a local I've shop. linked it before. I should try and find it again and link okay. it. 
And then I had it double, like I had it stitched again. So my aunt stitched this one and I had Christy, uh, Java girl finish this for me. And this was at the trunk show. So the bows, yeah, it was wrapped and everything, but so you guys can get an idea of two different finishes. Um, I really wanted the piece to speak for itself, and I feel like both finishes really did that. So, I'll pull my. All right. Wow. Yeah, the bow's scary on this one too. <laughs> okay, so who is joining in? Is this in the middle or the side? I think it's in the middle. It's in the middle. Yeah. Sorry, this bow is really sad. Who is joining the Toil and Trouble Stitch Along? Maybe I'll just pull the card. So this is magnetized. Yay. Okay, so I'm really excited about this. We're starting a Stitch Along August 4th for the Toil and Trouble. I think all of joining. us. Joining, yay. Yay. I think all of us want to stitch this. I kitted it. So um, I'm going to show what I'm doing it. Okay, on. so... And I, I'm going to say right now, I will not be doing the border on this. <laughs> I like things without a border. I'm not a border person. I will say I'm, I have a love-hate relationship. Sometimes I feel like the border, as a designer, it kind of like frames in the piece. It finishes it off. And then also I like borders that are. Um, What's the design board? Oh, it's underneath. Scrappy. Like, do you grab it? So I chose, we just stocked this. It's 32 count light taupe. So go run and get some. We just restocked. So I'm doing mine on that. Okay. So Emily is going to be stitching along and she's picked her own. Um, I'm trying to do all weeks. I haven't picked everything yet. You con gold for the yellow. So if you want to do the same colors, grits for the white. And I'm matching her happy Halloween colors kind of. Uh, how do you say that one? Persimmon. So these are in her Happy Halloween chart. Some of these colors. Uh, Daylily for the other orange. Moss, which is used. I need to get more. And Purple Haze. So those are the colors I've chose so far. And I'm waiting for the black. I don't have black yet. Are you doing coal? I'm doing the one in your Happy Halloween chart. Onyx. I believe. So I tried to match because I actually have stitched Happy Alley and I can show it and I want them to match. So that's why I chose okay, so a more this muted is palette. Her, she's doing muted and the original chart is a uh, DMC and it's more on the bright side. Yep. So I can't wait to see. Yeah, I love the muted. I love the taupe like Lindsay. I love the variegation and um, I probably won't do the border because I don't like borders. <laughs> and um, yeah, she likes the idea of skipping the border too. I don't know. Like, I feel like it makes it, like, I love that you did it. There's nothing wrong with it. I just feel like sometimes my stuff ends up wonky and it yes. doesn't look straight to me. And I, I'm not, a, like, my stitching isn't perfect. Quite yeah. Yet, so. And I think, like, borders, when you have, like, a mixed border with mixed like styles it's a lot um you Looking don't notice if it's crooked so the charts did you do pdf and paper yeah and it's under our sell section so if you just go to our etsy shop and then in the sections there's a section that says sale yeah. just click on that and it will take you to everything that's on sale yep so my colors match her happy halloween chart for the most for part. the most part so. She added in the green and the purple and purple and yellow. I'm really excited. Watch, I'm gonna want to copy her. <laughs> What's up? I can do this. I have not stitched in months. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> she she's not a summer stitcher, so um, I'm excited to see. Okay, so let we're gonna talk about our whips now. Um, what was the black onyx? Onyx. Weeks? I just didn't have any, so we ought to order some. Um, I think we'll try and get some floss packs in. I'll have her order some if you want to do her color scheme. When's the new B chart coming? <laughs> Good Someone question. asked that. Good question. I told her to finish it. She still hasn't finished it. 
You guys, if you knew how behind I was, you yeah. would just die. Do you have autumn rolls and paper? Yes. Everything, Did we relist yep, that? I've relisted. Time. Everything's in stock. Autumn rolls. We just got um, a new shipment of these because we were sold out. So PDF and paper are in the chart sell. 20% off. Okay, so let's talk about whips. You want to go first, Em? Sure. Or I don't really have whips much. or finishes. So I'm doing pumpkin kisses. So she's doing this one that we just talked about. I'm doing called for on mushroom. <laughs> mushroom. Let's see. We can call this the start, I guess. <laughs> Wait, hang on. That's it. Oh, yeah. Will you be doing Halloween rolls? That sounds like a good idea. Maybe. <laughs> you guys, I'm There's no <laughs> rolls in the works right now. <laughs> but I am designing a chart that's probably my favorite yet right now i worked on it for like an hour last night okay so this is welcome autumn we don't have that one up on here. mushroom as well um so we found out somebody is hosting a stitch along nicole yes. now if i'm pronouncing her last name wrong i am really sorry nicole soffer sofer She's on YouTube. Super, I'm not sure. But she announced she is doing a stitch along with this piece. Be sure to check out her YouTube channel because she, like, I was, like, binging it the other day. I'm like, oh, my gosh, she has so many cute things. She cross stitches, she quilts, and she's a paper crafter. Um, and so this piece right here is just what she's doing for a stitch along. Yep. How about a Thanksgiving rolls? <laughs> You know, it's so funny because really um, you could basically do any kind of rolls. And I have a long list. Yeah. It's, um, it's, I have to, I don't know, like I'll start one and I haven't, and I'll like usually design it from start to finish in like a few days. But I haven't been working on a rolls. I'm working on something else. Um, it is a Christmas and it is a large chart. Yeah. Um, um, let's see. I'm down for the Emily muted. Halloween stamps and paper is coming. We don't know when. Katie's in charge of the dates. <laughs> she has the dates down and they will be coming out soon. So I have happy Halloween, which Lindsay pointed out I did miss some stitches here. So I got to fix it. Well, I don't know. You could have not missed. I don't know. Wait, yours is the same. I know. Don't look at it. <laughs> so I did it. She was like, you missed some. I know. So I guess if you want to fix that and add like two stitches. Two stitches. But it's fine. Now that I see it, I can't unsee it. So I'm going to finish it on this. Sorry. Yeah. Excuse me. Just kidding. <laughs> I picked these two fabrics. So this, this pumpkin is from Stitch Etc. on Facebook group. I'm going to put it with these two and layer it if I have room. I'm a little worried I won't have room. No, you'll have room. So it's not that's that kind of my plan. It just hasn't come to fruition. We've been busy. And I found this cute spider button to put with it, maybe. I think Emily just stocked some buttons. I just placed a huge button order. So it will be coming soon. And you guys, there are so many cute buttons coming um did I not grab that? new and previous ones a lot of christmas and halloween so i just ordered a huge button order so spore well, thank you jennifer nicole spore okay you know i am so glad you said that because i kept like trying to figure out that okay so here's my whip if you want to hold that. Halloween Doodles by Heart and Hand, which I believe she was just on Fat Quarter Shop. Who watched her uh, live with Fat Quarter Shop? I did. And she, you know what? She's such a sweet lady. She is so sweet. And when we met her at um, Nashville, yeah, Nashville Needlework Expo, I feel like she was like so like just sweet. And we were like, oh my gosh, it's Heart and Hand. Okay. Yeah. So good. Okay. I'm picking my own colors. Um, again, I don't 
know why, but I really love brights when it comes to Halloween. I love that you did purple in the cauldron. So, 32. This is either platinum or light taupe. Platinum and light taupe are very similar, and I just have a bunch by my stitching chair, so I usually just grab what's in there. Um, so, let's show what I have picked for my colors. So, embers for the orange. And some of these could be the same as the chart, and some, most of them are not. I do not think because I wanted to. I, can work. I just picked what I had that I loved. The dark purple, I'm using Great Fizz. I love Great Fizz. That's a good one. So the dark purple is in the cauldron, and then I wanted the light purple to be like the steam. So I did. Um, uh, it's a hot mess, you guys. Okay. At Marie's Violet. So Great Fizz, this is Gentle Art, Classic Color Works at Marie's Violet. And then Bean Sprout for the green. Whitewash in weeks. Weeks. I think this is going to be, this is my go to over dyed white. Yeah. And I think the white. It actually shows up really good on this cloth, even though it's a lighter cloth. And then my black, I picked coal. Someone commented, which I was going to say that, uh, Sky, Scarlet Sky Design is working on a wood finish for Toilet Trouble. And I cannot wait. I think she said a cauldron. Ooh. So that's going to we'll be cool. see. I might have to order it. Um. Okay, so I'm hoping to, this is in my rotation right now. Um, I have another piece that's in my rotation that I've been working, spending a lot of time on, but it's a surprise, so I can't show you yet. Yeah. Um, and then my other pieces that are in my rotation right now. So flags on the fourth. Whoops, let me grab this again. Um, I'm stitching flags all year. And I want to start a new one on the fourth of every month. So that these are the ones I've completed. And this is my own pattern um, in the shop and it's on sale. So if you haven't picked yours up, you can get it on sale. Um, this is the heart and hand flag that I picked. Uh, I finished. This one was really fun. And we have these in stock. Yeah. I stitched this like in a night. And then um, I worked. This is what I worked on. I'm probably going to have like 20 flags because I'm just putting this in my rotation to work on when I need something that's not super like I need to pay attention so much and count. There's a lot of fill in. So like this is going to be easy to just fill in. And when I want to like maybe take this to do stitching somewhere, it's not going to be a hard thing <clears throat> to do. So what I have is I keep all of these in a bag with a bunch of cloth, um, cloth that I have picked that I'm going to use. And then in my bag as well are my colors. <laughs> Which we still have some of her floss packs available for the flex. Um, these are some of the ones I've picked. I have floss packs. And so I just grab the bag and I'm work on it when I need an easy stitch. Yeah. I do have, I think I have the one I want to pick for next month and I will show that what's today the 21st i'll show that next week that's the 28th yeah so okay so okay i have what's my that? list here whips finishes okay the bundles we might be almost sold out of this one this is i helped pick it up she helped pick this out i did the finishing touches on picking colors so it'll match a lot of her Halloween charts. And it's going to be sold out. And I'm really sorry. Um, I will make another bundle that's like this. Because we're going to want Halloween bundles all season. It's my favorite. Stars. So this might be sold out by you the better time. better run. I think there was <laughs> 10 left when we looked. By the time you look at it, it might be sold out. But... Don't fret. I'm going to do a lot of Halloween bundles. Um, 
this one is just happens to be the first and it is very um they're great blender pieces so they're not like super busy they're not going to take away from your cross stitch they're going to add to your cross stitch yeah How, let's see, how does it make you feel when someone meets you for the first time and they are starstruck over you? I don't think that's happened yet. <laughs> um, it's usually the opposite. I'm usually like meeting someone and I'm the starstruck person. Yeah. So um, all I know is I get starstruck when, any, when anyone knows who we are because yeah. I'm like, you really know who we are? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we... Uh, we don't have like a brick and mortar so we're it's just us here um someone said i just received the new grow with love chart absolutely love the photos i'm using it for a new baby girl that's cute and adding her initials that'd be oh really my cute gosh, what a cute idea to put in a baby room i just love this chart so much and i i'll probably show it a million times and i'm sorry but it's just the baby idea like That's every time somebody idea. says what they're stitching it for, it has meaning and you can put your own meaning in it. And that's really was what I wanted out of this chart. I wanted, yeah. even though there's so much meaning for me personally, because, you know, these are my wedding colors, my initials with my husband, our year of marriage. But she just said she's doing it for a baby chart, which these are great colors for a girl. Yeah. Um, their initials, their year of birth. Like, how cute is that going to be? Yeah. Do you ship to Canada yet? Um, we do not, but we distribute a ton. We distribute all of our charts to, to a lot of different stores who do ship internationally. Yeah. Um, we have some things going behind the scenes. Um, I don't know if you see our Instagram posts, but um, we'll be announcing it very soon and it, that might be a possibility as adding in shipping internationally. We just haven't, we haven't figured that out yet, to be honest. It's, <laughs> it's, I'm always scared to ship internationally that I'm, I'm, the label is going to be wrong, that you're not going to get the package. What is the key? <laughs> what is what key? That you posted. Oh, I showed an actual key, whether it's a key to a door, a car. I don't think it's to a car, but it's to something and it's exciting. And all I have to say is my house is an utter disaster right now. And um, we'll be sharing updates on Instagram. Okay, so this next bundle is we all love Teresa Kogut. And she has started designing for Riley Blake Designs. Um, and she has put in her fabric. She's put in a lot of what she has on her, like, charts and, like, her paintings, which I love. So she has turned her art into fabric, which is awesome for us because then we get to experience her art. Yeah. And I love that. So um, I just ordered yesterday a huge pattern order from her so her patterns are coming a lot of christmas a lot of halloween so this is her line halloween whimsy and we've put together a bundle for you guys um I whether you want to use it for um cross stitch finishing cross stitch project bags or you're a quilter these are just darling and it's so crazy because when i order fabric i see it on paper yeah. and it doesn't always um translate but whenever I see her fabric in person, it's I'm like, so cute. oh my gosh, it's <clears throat> so lovely. It's, it's adorable. And I yeah. think you guys probably recognize this motif isn't, I think this is an acrostic, stitch, isn't it? <laughs> We're getting people asking about what the key's for. Okay. So Emily will show the other pieces. Um, this is the main uh, vocal piece right here. Yeah. So here's a star colorway. So we've got stars in three it's like colors. A taupey, orange, green, and like a taupe. I love this next yeah, print. Yeah, project bag you. would be adorable. Um, then this is like a doodle, would you say? 
Yeah. So it's a tonal print. So you've got the light and the dark greens, but it has all of these like outline drawings and I'm obsessed. In fact, I finished, it's similar to this piece of fabric. And when I saw it, I, it reminded me, it's kind of like this. So these would be great for finishing. Um, and if you're a quilter, they're great blender fabrics, which yeah. um, I love me some blender fabrics. And then these are like watercolory um, prints. They read as solids, which I love. Again, if you um, paired this one and this one for a finish. Whose fabric? This is Teresa Coquit from Riley Blake. We just listed this bundle. So if you did a finish with uh, the black and the orange stripe, really cute. So the full bundle is 11 pieces that we've put together. Oh, and then focal. the focal. So a lot of blenders and then this fun focal. Hey, Valeria, thank you so much. <laughs> and I have to say, after our last video, you guys left the best comments. Like, I try and... Yeah. I start responding to them and I, I start responding and then I do as many as I can before I have to do another task, but I read them all. And yeah. I have to say, we can't keep I up. Had, <laughs> no, I had a really rough week. I'm not going to lie. Um, I was in an ambulance twice this week and it, it was hard to even think if I was going to be on the floss tube today. Um, I have severe allergies and it was really scary and just reading your comments because having experiences like that, um, like anaphylactic reactions, they're very scary for everyone involved. Mm -hmm. Um, and I just want to say thank you for your kind words, your comments, because you know, I read them every day and they always boost my spirit. So thank yeah. you so much. Um, and I'm glad I was here to share what we have in the shop today. Me too. Uh, she, Valeria did uh, ask, where do I get the free pattern Friday from two weeks ago? Um, it should have been emailed in your quilting newsletter. Go ahead and email or message us on Etsy so we can get it sent to you. Yeah, it's been a scary week for Lindsay, <laughs> for all of us. Yeah. It just puts in perspective what's important. And my sister, I love her very much. And she's my best friend. And I'm glad she's okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, actually, Emily was here. She was not supposed to be here. Yeah. I was alone with my kids, two of my kids. There was no adults here. And she just happened to come over because yeah. I had said something and I ate something that had uh, something I was allergic to, not knowing that it was yeah. in there. And so it was really scary. Um, yeah. But I will say it's been eight months since I've had a reaction like that. And I think that's the longest I've gone for a very long time. Yeah. So, but it doesn't mean it's any less scarier. Yeah, that's scary. Um, I'm always scared I'm not going to EpiPen her in time. It's yeah. really scary to have to do that. Like, I yeah. wouldn't wish it on anyone. It's so scary. So, anyway, thank you so much for your well wishes. And yeah. um, I'm just, you know, this live, I, I'm actually, I get excited for it every week. Yeah. And I plan, okay, what are we going to show? And it just brightens my day because I get to connect with you guys. Um with people that love the same things I do. And yeah. there's no better feeling than connecting on that level. And I just, I have like the cold chills now. I just, I just love it. It just makes yeah. my heart happy. And so thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Um, okay. I have to write everything down. So what's <laughs> next? Okay. An announcement. I am going to be on a live floss tube tomorrow with Christy Java Girl Stitches and friends, um, her friend Anna and Fiona, me, Christy. Emily is going to run the show, look at comments yeah. um, for us because um, I'm sure it's going to be so much fun. We yeah. 
a bunch of ladies talking about cross stitching and you guys have to join us. It's going to be on Christy's channel. We will link in the description after we post the video, yeah. her channel. So yeah. you do not want to miss it tomorrow, five o'clock. So get your stitching ready, find your favorite stitchy chair and turn on YouTube five o'clock to yeah. talk about stitching, show our finishes, show what we're working on. It's going to be so much fun. Another announcement. We are doing a our first ever retreat in Florida, West Palm Beach, Florida with Annabella's. We will link the information there. We talked a bunch about it last episode. Okay, so Emily, is that everything for cross stitch? Oh, some oh, new chart. I listed new charts. So this is Prairie Schooler, new chart. I believe this is brand new. Correct me if I'm wrong. It is. It was on Hoffman is their new chart. Okay. So correct. I, you know, Prairie Schooler Santa, it's a tradition. It's, you know, everyone collects them. The They're Santas. just so fun. And they put out this new chart that's eight, like mini Santas. And they yeah. are adorable. Someone asked the time zone tomorrow. It's Mountain Standard. So yes, we're, so we're gonna be here in Utah. They are coming here. They're driving here right now, and I'm so excited. Yes. Are they coming here first? Yes. Oh, so they're gonna be here in a couple hours. I'm so so excited to see my stitchy friends, um, yeah. and I'm excited to join them on the live and hang out with everyone. Yes. So, okay, new Prairie Schoolers. I don't. Um, I don't know if this is gonna be like. It says a mini surprise. So like, are they going to have more? I don't know. But I thought it was so exciting to have that. And then a fall chart. Um, this one is by Twin Peaks Primitives. And there's nine um, autumn smalls. So a really fun booklet. So it is a booklet. There are color pictures. Um, I was actually looking through it yesterday when we were getting everything ready for today. And she has it charted. Uh, the actual chart is in black and white, but she does have color pictures. And she it also includes um, the chart in color, but it's a lot yeah. smaller. So I thought that was kind of cool. So uh, new in the shop as well. Someone asked the theme for the retreat. I don't think, did they say there was All a Things Winter is the name of it. And it's in West Palm Beach, Florida um, in January. So I'm excited. Emily took me uh, to do some retail therapy, therapy which yeah. that's what I call it. Whenever I have these episodes, it's really scary for me to go places by myself because of everything that happens. And um, I had my nail appointment, so I got my nails. I went to my regular pink uh, simple. This is what makes me happy is this just pink. And we went to Home Goods. And I bought a ton of stuff, but this yeah. was my favorite thing I bought. I found it. She found it. It was a set of two. Okay. It is a candy corn mug with, look how cute the little top comes off, with this jack-o'-lantern spoon. Let me put it against. It's so cute, you guys. Yeah. It, it came with two. Um, put cider in it. Be cute. Uh, so go to Home Goods, TJ Maxx. We, they have a ton of Halloween, yeah. at least in ours. And I, we're going, I'm telling those stitchy girls today, we are going to Home Goods because yeah. I'm ready to shop some more. And it was funny. We literally had a traffic jam in the aisle and every this lady was like, oh, it's all Halloween lovers in July. And I was like, well, we got to come now. It's going to be gone. Like, it's true. You, sadly, it's here now because it won't be here in the next, it'll be gone in the next two months, I feel like. So. Yeah. <laughs> yep. All right. Uh, What's some let's see messages? Everyone's happy. You're okay. Thank you. Are you going to be offering the Christmas cloth bundle that sold out? The vintage that is sold out. Um, yeah, that will not be. I am really sorry, but yeah. that one. I think you guys had like the nostalgia for that vintage Christmas, which um, we are give we have the give winner, winner from last week, but um, it's really cute. it's just. It gives you that sense. I mean, I can, I need to go through inventory. Sometimes we have a few stragglers. Uh, so we'll see. I don't know. Yeah. Like, cause we literally cut it all out and we guesstimate how much. And then it, 
by the next week, I'll usually have like one or two left of a bundle. But I don't know if we have extra yeah. of this. You can always check the shop. She's always adding things. It is summer. <laughs> My daughter's asking the question. Okay. <laughs> so let's get into our quilty goodness. Done. No. I showed this last week. In a minute, we'll talk. Okay. We're almost done. I showed this fun little apple mini. Will you hold that side? Oh, yes. Sorry. <laughs> I'm out of it. <laughs> well, Avery, my youngest, she's asking us something. Um, I love this. Kits will be tomorrow. I didn't have time last week. We ran out of time. So pattern and kits. I think I will be calling this like apple a day or something fun like that. I love mom uh, had the idea of doing one mini yellow apple or not mini, but yellow apple in the bunch. Cute. So really fun. And then we're getting ready for, I just, I'm always surprised how soon the next free pattern Friday comes you guys. So free pattern Friday is the second Friday of every month. And I design a new pattern for you guys that's free and we always have the um, fabric bundle kit for the, sorry, Avery, what do you need? Can you call it the American? Yes. They ask, how many children do you have and how old? <laughs> okay, so I have three kids, uh, 15, well, she's going to be 15, Avery is going to be 10. 10, which just blows my mind. She's my youngest. And then Charlie, my middle, he is going to be 12 very soon. So 15, 12, and 10. Yeah. Um, I have one and he's 10. He turns 10 on the 31st. And then Avery is August 31st, which I called it. When I had Sawyer on the 31st, she was pregnant. We should post a picture of us pregnant together. And I, literally it was August 31st. And were you overdue? No, I went early. I went so two I was weeks over, early. I was doing the 24th of July. I had him on the 31st. I was camping in a tent <laughs> on the ground on the 24th when I was due. <laughs> I was too. You were, you chicken out though. I know, I, I did. I went to my in-laws and slept and in so a bed. And so on August 31st, I was like, you're going to have Avery today. And she did. So they're exactly a month apart. Yeah, they're a month apart. And they are the very strong personalities, both of them. <laughs> Yeah, it's like they're frenemies. Yes. It's very bizarre. Anyway, sorry. That was a rant, man. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yeah, so Avery, I have three kids. It's summer. They're still here, like, you know, playing. They have friends over. It's all good. At least the dogs haven't barked. That's a plus. Okay, free pattern Friday kit is featuring a uh, too cute to spook. Me and my sister. This is going to be our background which i love it's the stars which i always always have a favorite halloween background of the year this is it i ordered hundreds of yards because <laughs> i love it so much <laughs> but um this one is featuring a full-size charm pack so the pattern i think you guys are really gonna love kits will be on sale tomorrow yep and i got so all the Someone's got, I got out of the shipping room. I am too. <laughs> we finally caught up like on, I think Tuesday, we finally caught up like, holy cow. It's been weird all day yesterday. She's like, I was like, what should I do? What should I do? What should I do? And I'm uh, like, you can do this, 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 this. <laughs> so she's, she's been up here. Yeah. Mom will be back next week. Someone asked if it's an easy. The, this one I would definitely say is beginner friendly. This is going to be really fun. Um, it's going to be a pattern you're going to put in your stash and use with any fabric, and you'll love it. Um, yeah. So. We miss mom, too. We miss mom. She's been gone. Over a week. It'll be over a yeah. week. Yeah. Um, they're in Disney, the beach. They're doing their summer vacation. Yeah. So she'll be back. She actually, I talked to her on the phone y yesterday, was it? And she's like, after this trip, I will be home for a month. It's a miracle because she has had like trip after trip, which is, yeah. is great because I'm glad that she gets to go and, and uh, spend time with Katie and her family. Yeah. Okay. 
Uh, let's talk about okay. last week. I forgot to pick the winners from the previous week. So we have lots of giveaway information. So the winners of these two very large one yard bundle packs. So they're one yard cuts of these fabrics. So um, Linda Koplikat, Linda Koplikat, Copalacus, Copalacus. <laughs> we'll spell her name in the. And yep. then Diana Rose. Email us your shipping information. The giveaways we did last week. Um, winner of the Vintage okay. Christmas Love Bundle. Your name. Cherry Newberry. I thought that was cute. How cute of a name is that? Cherry Newberry. Fat Corner Bundle. And then the winner for the floss pack. I don't have it over here, but the floss pack for this chart and the chart is Michelle Higa. Higa. H-I-G-A. Okay. So the giveaways for this week. Fat Corner Bundle of the this uh, bundle, this 11 piece Teresa Kogut bundle. One winner. Zoe, Sorry, you Zoe's can. My dog is up here. She's scratching. And then a fat quarter bundle of uh, my Halloween fave. So after the post, comment on the comments, not the live, but the, the video comments. What? Just leave a comment and. Um, <laughs> Tell us which bundle you would prefer. Do yeah. you want the the Halloween Bright Lindsay fav Lindsay's favorites or the Teresa Koga the Witch wine? Um, so tell us which one you want to win. Um, let us know the how if you're stitching Halloween and which chart you're stitching if you are stitching Halloween. Yeah. Um, anything else, Emmy? Uh, I think that's it. But thanks for joining. Yes. We appreciate you guys so much. Um, like I said, we have a fun-filled weekend with Christy, Java Girl, and um, Anna and Fiona. We're going to be yeah. stitching, um, laughing a lot, I'm sure. Oh, yeah. It's um, loud and rowdy. Shopping. Shopping, stitching, laughing, eating. <laughs> Not necessarily in that order. Um <laughs> So we're going to have so much fun yeah. and be sure to join us on the live class tube. Yeah. Um, I think they're doing giveaways, right? She's yeah, giveaways she's, on that. She's having giveaways. Um, so. Please like this video, subscribe to our channel. You can turn on the bell if you don't want to miss the next live. We always do the live on Thursday mornings at 10 a.m. Mountain Standard Time. But I think that's it. Yeah. All right. So thank you. We'll see you guys tomorrow on uh, Christie's live and we'll see everyone back here on our channel next week. Okay, thanks. See Bye. Ya.